Hello and thank you for being here. Today I'm going to show you my paper beads. I know there's a lot of them out there, people doing them, but this is my version. And this is a long video, so this is a heads up. If you don't like long videos, this is almost an hour long. I go step by step and go through things with you and talk a lot and show you a lot. So please uh, beware if you're going to start. It is a long video. and But I thank you for being here. Okay, hello. Hey, I guys, I just thought I'd share with you but I, what I've been doing. You know, I'm in such a crafty mood. I don't know what my problem is. I can't get to my paintings that I'm doing. So, this is what I started doing. I started doing these beads, these paper beads, because I had gotten some from uh, Josie and from Beth, and these are ones that I did before and just fell in love with them and I used them in my um, what was that I just made the diffusers so you know the hanging things I use them and I love them so I thought well I gotta make some okay so I'm making these and I'm just using a, a wooden dowel I did order the little um, different size little things uh, from eBay so when I get those I will do more but I you know these are kind of these one this one these here they come out really so plain so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw on them uh, this side well every side that I use to go under I won't but kind of like kind of like the end one see this one is going to be straight this one is going to be like um, you know these here where they come taper in and then the ones that I cut like this will just be straight so I'm trying to figure out what I need to do with these so what I thought is if I just took my my markers and I thought I had the black marker Hmm. And also, oops, your paints. I mean, you have to make them dry for a while, but you can um, just do some, let's see, some cool little drawings on it. I'm not really good with these little, these fine liners, these ones. I'm just, just not. Gotta get used to them. And then we can see how these look because it's just way too plain, you know? I don't know how far I need to go. So we'll see. Uh, I'm assuming, yeah, this, because this will be the last little bit of it. So I'm going to want that. And that'll be a lot prettier than I'm gonna do my black marker. Oh there it is, okay. Uh, and I think oops oh goodness. I am terrible with these. I really gotta play with them more. Okay, so I'm just gonna I don't know how this is gonna work. This may be too much paint so I don't know so we'll see that definitely may be too much paint but I'm not going to mess around with it because if I mess around with it I'll squish it and it will be a mess so let's let that one dry and then I'm going to take another one and kind of do the same thing only let's do some Let's do some, I don't know. Okay. I, I don't know guys, I'm just going, you know, doing random little things. I have no idea. Just so it has some kind of design when it gets to the end because it is so boring you know I guess I'm gonna have to put some there too I 
on to see what it looks like because it's just like it drove me crazy. I was like, I rolled them up and it's like, oh, there's nothing. I mean, you could draw a little picture or whatever. That'd be cool too. Uh, I just need some color. And I have this paper and I thought, you know, I'm just going to use it because it's been sitting for years and I haven't used it. So why not make beads out of it, huh? Okay. So that'll be that one. Let me see. Do I have more? Yeah, that's a good end here. So, do, 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 do. where are you? Why did I just lay down that? I'm not only crazy, I'm going blind. Where did I put the black one? Oh, here it is. Okay. Okay, I just keep decorating and decorating with the fine liners, and they worked really well. And, uh, you know, I just kept doing that. And then I also decorated some. I put them back on the dowel and um, just decorated them right on there. And, you know, you just be careful that you're, it doesn't really matter. Um, but, um, you yeah, know, you can do that and design them right already when they're wrapped, which turned out really cool, too. This is what I wanted to show you how to cut. And I watched Jenna Belly cut, and this is what she did. She went to, uh, to get her straight edge away, she just went at a half up there, and then down at the bottom, she did to nothing. And then takes off that um, straight edge. And then you take it down here and if you want them an inch whatever you want your beads to start at and you just take the inch down here and to the to nothing and just go it's easier this way and yes I agree with her because the other way is just too much measuring so here you can just do the same thing an inch up there to nothing if you want nothing, if you want it, you know, a little bit more at the bottom, then just move it over a little bit. But there, so that's what I'm. Do that's what I did. And if you want them to be straight, then you just you don't have to cut that angle off, you know, that straight edge off, and you can just do that. So right now, I am cutting papers, and I'm going to show you. This is something fun you can do. Okay, I took, and you can take paper bags and just wet them and then crinkle them up and then let them dry okay and then you have this nice paper to work with and what you can do is you can paint it you can cut them here and then decorate them or you can decorate them first you know by stamping and I've got this really new lovely new stamp that I'm going to use but I am going to get some stays on because I want to use stays on on these because we're going to be we can paint and and then if you decide to put um, I got this at at Michael's for a dollar Isn't that cool um, if you decide to put something over it it won't run so if you're going to stamp them I would suggest stays on I'll be right back or actually <laughs> Ranger I'm going to use this one uh, the archival ink Ugh. so let's just see that's I need to get some more uh, stamps Oh, not stamps inks I keep forgetting I really do so you can ah, stamp them oh, it's coming out okay this one didn't come out too dark stamp them or paint on them first and then now if you're going to keep them actually uh, not with a on an angle you can just do the edges you don't have to do the whole thing you can just do the bottom part because this will be the only piece that will show you know when you cut them straight like that you're going to start at the this end and then you'd stop at this end so this design would show 
at the bottom and we can do that with these so we'll just leave that like that you really didn't even have to do that second row but um, then you can do those little I call them they look like little barrels you could do an inch or you can do I'm gonna do uh, three quarters how's that Let's see so this way I'll just take that piece you have it with just the design there and then you can actually if you want to stamp it a little bit more or if you want to write something on it you know that's a little messy but give you an idea um, and then you just take your I can't wait till my little thing comes to make you know that holds the paper in I think it'll be a lot easier at least for me so let me just get my glue and I'll show you I just had some things out and then I put some things away okay so remember you're gonna start you're gonna leave the design edge down there and start from up there so I'm gonna glue and you have to leave a little bit up here where there isn't you don't want to put any glue because otherwise it'll stick to the dowel I probably should have so you want to make sure that it just the glue just has it stick to the paper but you're not sticking to the actual wood dowel because then you can't get them off now I don't know you know it depends on how perfect you want them you know just hold them tight or if you want them a little bit more chunkier or you want them straighter I really want mine kind of random see and I didn't have to put the design that far down because it's only going to get covered so you only really only need to put the design at the very end so there I got this little chunky one and then just make sure you have glue on the bottom there oops and then you can take it off and there's your little your little one which is kind of off center but that's okay just to show you I'm sure you'll do a better job but I like them kind of crazy so I'm okay I'm okay with that and then this um, you can stamp the whole thing and uh, you know be because this is let's see let's see how this looks if we stamp the whole thing figure out which side you want as the showing side okay and this one's going to be the one that tapers so I'll leave a little bit at top so you don't get any glue on the dowel and then start it and I'm sure the tool works better and I know you can use all kinds of different size things um, you know I saw Jenna Bella she actually even used a toothpick but forget it I would never be too small for me so you can line it up so make sure that if you want it in the dead center that you've got it and then just put the glue at the edge and there you go. Oops, did that not stick down? Come on. Are you going to be putting um, either, uh, you can use Secopage over it, you can use the Mod Podge, which I love the dimensional magic, or you can emboss them. So, so that's what it looks like. Now that's really earthy, natural. I like that. And then you can decorate it even more but I thought using the paper bags actually this was um, something my husband had oh I know it had the screen for the patio for the porch outside and this was a roll that was left underneath and I think I have another one let me show you and what I did was I just soaked it in the kitchen sink it was like can you see that just a roll and you can buy this 
this I just wanted. It's pretty thick, but you can buy thinner one. You know, it's just like the wrapping paper that they use for uh, wrapping packages to mail out. You can get that anywhere if you want, or use your paper bags. Um, I love Trader Joe's paper bags. I use them for everything, but I thought that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I wet it, and I made a journal like this once, and it came out really nice. I wet the paper bags and then crumbled them and then made a journal. I love it. So it why not? You know? So and so that's all you do. So if you want, you know, to use your paper bags up and then that's really kind of natural and I I don't know if you could actually soak these if you wanted to use these to soak um any oil. Uh I don't know how it would work with a paper bag, but it may you may want to try it and see I think I may try one so and then that's what you do and then another thing I wanted to show you okay I have some of these I've I've, I've got to do more coats on them but I used the Mod Podge the dimensional magic on them and what I did was I just put them back on the, these the dowels and um, just be careful that they don't stick you're probably better off if you have something metal like a wire to put them on and that's the wire ones didn't stick when I put the ones on the wire but the some of the ones that I put on the dowel stuck so you got to make sure like I, I guess I got a little bit crazy with the Mod Podge but all you have to do is let's take this one let's put it back because it fits back on there and um, then I like to do it over Yes, because I'm messy. And uh, I think we all know that. Get your little um, brush. Uh, dry this brush. I have some brushes that I just use for gluing stuff. These are like really cheap and they're good just for glue. Sorry. Sorry. Things are flying. And um, you can just do that. You kind of have to have your finger here to hold it because otherwise it goes crazy. Unless you can figure out a little clamping thing. And then just, you got to do a couple of coats to get it to really feel like it's glass almost, you know. So you you need some coats of this. It does, just doesn't happen with one coat. Now I'm going to try embossing some. So I'm, I, and what I've seen on that is you, you really have to do a couple of coats of that too. So to make it feel like glass. Okay. Do I really? Okay, you can just kind of move it a little bit so it's not stuck in that spot with the because I'm messy. Okay, so you know I don't try to say I'm not. And that I'm gonna start with that there. And this stuff I get it at. I can't find the diamond glaze in the in like Michaels and stuff. So you have to get it online. But this you can get at Michaels or Joann's and then use your coupon. So it's like five ninety nine, and then you know what your fifty percent or sixty percent off. This glue, this stuff isn't you know costly. Whereas the diamond glaze, I can't seem to find it anywhere but online or in little specialty stores. And then you know you don't have any coupon, and they get it gets expensive. So really. Now on these, I want to do the sides too. I want to make sure it's on. This is a little bit tougher to stick down. So they want to use, um, instead of that, what did I just use? The stick, the glue stick? Maybe next time I'll use Aileen's Tacky Glue with the paper bag ones. Or just this stuff. Okay, so that's and then you can just, you know, I'll put two cups together or whatever and then just get that going. So I'm just going to do the rest of these. I'm going to give them another coat. Um, 
a bunch of these and then I will be back. Now these are drying and I happen to have this little thing. This was a little tray that I bought that I was supposed to f fix and whatever, do stuff to and I never did. So I will eventually, but for now it works out really good. So if you have something like that or you can just put two cups on each side. And what I was thinking was I'm going to decorate these and since I have, I have so much of this, these liquid pearls and stuff and all. And you know, over the years I have not really use I've got them for years so I thought why not use them and these paper bag ones I mean if you want to keep them just natural that's great because then you you know you don't want to put um, if you're going to use them and I'm going to do one let's do one I'm going to do a plain one right now and then let's see if it takes up the oil you're not going to be able to seal it though uh, and make it you know shiny because you know then the oil wouldn't penetrate but let's just do one and a plain one and just see how if the oil now I don't know with glue and stuff I don't know if it's gonna work but we'll see may have to have it dry maybe the glue would need to dry I don't know maybe don't put that much glue now I put quite a bit of glue so uh, maybe only put some glue like at the end and the beginning or something like that and so here's a plain one so let's let's let, I'm gonna do that one let that dry because the other ones I coated already so I'll let that dry and then I'm going to figure out which side you want to use for your decoration and these ones you can decorate the whole thing because or just the ends because you, that's what's going to show so you can do that now if you do them let's see in a square like this then you only have to and it's not a square <laughs> straight you only have to decorate really the end so it depends on what you want to do. So let's just do this. Let's just make, they come out so pretty, just just doing little tiny, you know, designs and you get such a pretty bead. So I'm just gonna. Just work it a little bit. So this will just be like the end of the bead because this one's not going to taper. Okay. Probably do a little bit more in there. So let that dry. And I'll, and I'll hold it up a little bit more so you can see the pretty color on that. So that nice orangey color because I have so many of these and I'm like am I kidding I need to start using these and then this one same thing just do the end sometimes these squirt right out and sometimes you have to get a little pin to start them make this all dry do a little bit here because this will be the end I'll add another color but you can see how pretty that looks just adding look at that that actually pops out and it just looks so pretty whoops just make sure that they're not stuck just adding a little bit of design to them. And let's see what other ones. These, same thing. Just a little bit of design to the bead. And let's see, the other one is over there. Okay, so let's let these dry and then we'll roll them up and then also 
Let's see what else we have. Oh, let me do this one because this one is tapered. So let's see what can we do. And then another thing you can do is you can go over them with nail polish and make pretty so if they're plain and then just at the end, you know, you can make plain ones and then just run over them with some sparkly nail polish. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's see. I'll just do some. Before these things dry up and, you know, they won't be good and I might as well use them. Oops. Yep, see sometimes they, they start and then they and then they get stuck in mid squish. So let me just get a pin or a piece of wire. Let's see. I have my pin somewhere here. I had it out before. It's the only thing is my my table is like filled with different things. Because I can't stop doing stuff. And I'm actually working on a workshop, but my painting is drying. So let's just. Uh, so I'm just adding nonsense, nothing. Just around the edge. This is like silver, so it'll look pretty on the plain paper. Oh, we can go in there with another color. Let's see how this one ooh, this one actually is just kinda oops. Add some more color. This is like a powder blue color with the silver It'll look pretty. It depends on how much time, too, you want to spend on these beads. But I think these are great to do with kids. And I know my granddaughters. My grandsons, not so much. But my granddaughters will love it. So we'll let that dry. That's, that's looking really pretty. So we have now three. And, whoops. Let's see what else we can do. This one's pretty. It's the red with the um, gold, and that's really pretty. So I may add, let's see, what do I want to add to this one? Um, hmm. Maybe this. And then once they're wrapped too on, I did some after they were actually on um, the after they were actually after they were rolled. Sorry guys, I'm like spaced out today. At, after they were actually rolled and um, made into a bead. Let's see if I can get this back in here. Um, you can. I'll show you what I what I mean. You can decorate them. You don't have to wait. Ah, uh, made a mess out of that one. Okay, so let's roll this one. You know, and you can use um, knitting, knitting, knitting knitting needles, which I, I can't find mine. I have them. This way you could have different sizes or you can just buy those beading uh, tools, which that's what I did. And they were like, I think I got them on eBay. And why is that not looking right? I got them on eBay. They're not here yet. And they were like, um, I think I got five for ten dollars so I thought that was a good enough deal 
and I'll see how those work. Okay, and then the end. Come on. That was a pointy end, huh? Okay, so now what I was talking about, what you can do is just take your whatever color you want and just, I just kind of decorated it, some of them just when they were on here. Oops. Why do I always have a problem with this pink one and I love that color? And I always seem to squirt it out like crazy. So you can do it when they're on the thing, but just like be careful because especially if the paint is running, you don't want to turn it over and then they kind of, you know, smear and run down. Although, really, who cares? That would be cool, too. Okay, so now you have these little dots all over this one, which look cute and cool. And you can add more. And you got to be careful with these. Sometimes they squirt when you first... And they look like those little glass things, you know? I want the paint to run. So, see? That's kind of cool, huh? Sorry, I, I, I swear that this camera, and I know it couldn't have, but it feels like it's far, further away. For some reason, I don't know what it is. So there. And then once you, you know, glaze it, it's cool. I mean, it looks really cool. So you can do it, decorate them after you roll them too. Um, and just, you know, do them anyway. Either way. Now, I'm going to emboss some. I'm going to make some and then I'm going to emboss them because I want to see how the embossing works because that you have to use the heat. So I want to see how that works and then uh, I will show you. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, so I have this one and I was thinking what about some Halloween stuff? But some of, most of my Halloween stuff is like too big. But here's a little, here's a little bat and I have a boo. So let's see. It's going to have to go, uh, I guess, like this, so that when you roll it, it'll be this way or this way. I don't know. Well, let's try it. I don't know how it's going to look. I'm going to do the boo. Right at the end. Oh, you didn't come out. I tell you, I need more more ink. Let me see if I have. Yeah, maybe not with the design. Maybe the design is like too. Let me just cut another one. Just go over that with the marker. No big deal. And this is actually paint. paint marker. Make little eyes. Then take a little white one. not showing up. Okay. So when, once that, let's get that to dry and then I'll put the little white mark on there with the um, fine liner. But let's see how that 
see how that rolls. Okay, and I wanted to show you. I did soak one of the one of the beads with um oh I'm putting it under the light, not the camera. <laughs> with lavender. And that's just plain plain bead made out of um the paper bag. Okay, so we are going to take the glue stick again and that'll be where we end so let's see how that works and I mean if you have black paper which I may try with white ink I think I still my white ink is still good that would be cool too. This camera is driving me crazy. Why is it just not? Yeah. These roll pretty big, so you may not even want to use this much paper. I have it like 11 inches or 10 inches. Probably don't even need, yeah, okay. So I think it probably would have been better written this way. Okay, so. Yeah, the next one I would do the other way. Let's get some more glue on this. Definitely would do that. Stamp it the other way. I think. I think. I don't know. Well, I don't know what my stamp. It would make the bead really big because I don't. I don't know if it. Let's see if it'll go across the bottom. So, um. Let's see if I have one. Cut another one. Be right back. Kind of cute. The little bat. So you can, you know, if you have little witches or you want to just draw little witches, you can make some nice Halloween beads, you know? And then I'm going to put some, well, you know what, I'll wait till I wrap them and then I'll put some color, like, you know, some orange. Let's say I'll do this, show this one. I'll just put some. This one gives me so much trouble. Some of the colors are worse than others. Some of them just don't flow right. I don't know. No matter how many times I clean out the tips, they just don't. kind of hurts your hand. You have to press so hard on these. And the tips are cleaned. I don't know. I guess when they sit for a while. That's why I have to start using my stuff. It's all going to get too dried and caked up and then no good. It's, that's what's happening. It's getting way too thick. 
I mean, I've got these things for years. It's not, you know, that you, you buy them and you get really excited about having them, and then, you know, you don't, you don't use them so much, so often, so it's like, then they start getting yucky. Okay, so I'll, I'll let that dry a little bit, and then add some more to that. Just let that dry a little bit, and then these I'll roll. I will roll them up, and I will be right back. I sure hope you're enjoying this video so far, but please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. The subscription button, the little subscribe little button, is down in the right hand corner of this video, and you can go there anytime. Here my glue pad is dried out so I had to use my gold pigment ink and that works too for embossing. The only thing is it turned, turns the bead the color of the ink so it turned the bead completely gold which is good. I mean it's okay um, but you know that's the difference. Okay, so now I'm going to show you um, this one with white ink. Uh, as long as it's pigment ink, you can use ink. Um, let's see how this one comes out. Now, this is white. I don't know if it's going to completely go over and not show any color through or what it's going to do, but I don't have... I did order the clear glue one. But that one dried up and I did have a bottle of you know um, refill but I don't know where it went so let's see how this one goes with the white so that's that gold one came out really pretty so I'm using the clear embossing powder and then and then the ink so it'll be what the ink is like the other one turned gold and this one is kind of like a whitish tint to it it kind of fade has the color look a little fade so the red doesn't look as red and so but you can do this either way you can use the can nail polish clear nail polish you can use the um, Mod Podge Dimensional Magic, Diamond Glaze, whatever you want, or just, you know, use the embossing powder. And then you can use, you know, if you have embossing powders with all different glitter and, you know, all that kind of stuff, that that's nice too. So, but you can see the difference. Let's show you in the red. See how it, using the white, that's the red one with the uh, ma uh, Mod Podge Magic, Dimensional Magic on it, and then this is with that. So it comes out it's a little it's not as glossy because I have to do more coats but it's kind of nice it kind of changed it into like a pinkish tone okay so what I want to do is make some of my own paper well I started using my acrylics and then I decided oh what do I have that's hanging around so I remembered I have the the luminaires by Jaguar uh, and they're really beautiful. They're metallic looking. So I started using those and I've got these for years and years and they need to be used. So this was a great, great way to use them. So if you have stuff left, you know, hanging around that you haven't used in a while, start using them. I mean, between the feathers and these, you can use up a lot of your excess supplies that are going to go bad anyway. Okay. I was thinking of this. Okay, with um, some of the beads, if you wanted to go around the edges. And this is the uh, Krylon, it's the gold leafing pen, and this is beautiful. This is almost as beautiful, and it is really as beautiful as the golden paint that I love, the golden gold that I use all the time that has that true gold, you know, look of gold leafing, and this is what this is. So it's fabulous. So you can decorate all of your beads with these, doing around the, the little circle like I am, and then I did it all over the beads. I mean, I just had fun with it. It was really Really beautiful okay so what I wanted to show you what I did is I just because some of these you know the holes are big on the beads I just put 
a little, not a really a bead cap, but you can use a bead cap, you know, those little ones that just go over. I just use beads uh, that, that were pretty big and just put them on each end and then wired. And this way, if you wanted to, you know, you could put them together that way or, you know, you can just use them however you want add other beads to these you know other kinds of beads and I thought I love the way these came out I think this is a great idea for kids the paper bags and uh, especially I mean Halloween is so cute I love it so um, yeah I'm gonna be making more of these for the grandkids and then once my bead cores come I ordered bead cords now you can use bead cast but these are kind of big so you'd slip the bead core in there and then you you know you'd wire it if you want to make keychains or you know whatever for the kids you can even put these things on uh, I'm sure it would fit on some of the pencils here let me see a paintbrush yeah like some of the pencils if you wanted to make some for the kids um, trying to see if I have you'd have to make it I guess you'd have to make it around the pencil so you could get the same um, the same size of the pencil and then let me just get a pencil let's get a pencil well here's one of my charcoal pencils so let's let's try this yeah so if you made it around the pencil then it would be the same exact see this is too this pencil is too big but if you if you did it that way and then took it off and then decorated it and then put it back on glued it on you could have some fancy pencils for the kids I mean that would be cute for Halloween uh, also just the regular beads I mean they you know just decorate your pens your pencils all I love these but now this one was done with the um, ah, the deli paper and I really like that. I mean, it's a little, not as tough, but you what you could do is use a regular paper and then just put the deli paper over it to, you know, like at the end. Um, these I did, I cut up, I got uh, a really nice magazine from, I love Pier 1, but I haven't bought anything there in years. But anyway, they still send me magazines and look at the pretty colors and everything you know so I cut some of those papers up and I've got these too that I'm gonna use so pretty you know and then just make your little beads out of that and and that's what I did with these now these I wrapped around a smaller um, handle of a of a brush so they're smaller but um, and I can't wait to get my little bead maker thing so this way Hopefully it'll be easier. So that's all I did is I I'm not great at wiring. You guys are probably a lot better, but I used, uh, let's see, what's the gauge on this? Uh, this was a 22 gauge wire that I used on here and uh, pull through with, with the beads. I just took regular beads because uh, I don't have, you know, I don't have the bead cores yet and just did it that way. Or if you want to fill inside with something, but I like these when I was making the um, in f the uh, diffusers. This these beads worked great on when you went down. You know how you make the knot at the bottom. Let me show you guys. They work really great with that. Hold on. Now these are not my beads, but. Um, See, I made the knot under here, and then this came down and um, went over the knot. So it covered up the knot, and that's a paper bead. And then I loved how they they came in. Now, these were not, you know, they didn't have any pieces on the I just used them. They were just straight like that, just right through. And I like that. And that these are, these are from uh, Josie and... Um, I just loved, I started, that's when I started to think, well, you know what, I got to make some. So this way I can use them with my, all my stuff that I want to make, you know, and then you make your own beads and then they're yours and then you can trade them or, or give them as presents. And then like Josie sent me those and Beth sent me some and now they'll get used in gifts and all kinds of things that I, and I'll always remember 
that they gave them to me and so it's nice to give your beads away and then other people can enjoy them and um, definitely you know your kids your grandkids you can make some cool stuff and use all your things I mean I enjoyed using my liquid pearls on these I mean look how cool I mean that's so cool some of these need another coat of um, the uh, la, 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 magic Mod Podge dimensional magic and I don't have my embossing glue yet so when I get that I'll be using that too but look how pretty I mean Sophia I love the paper bags though you can really just make them so cool and let me tell you I soaked that uh, paper bag one with lavender and that thing smells unbelievable that thing is still I mean it I put it down in my uh, stairwell because it smelled so strong in here that I just put it down and it smells so good down there so yeah they they really hold the oil so if you want to do that just make sure that you don't you know seal them because otherwise then you can't so it has to be you can I'm sure you can you know put marker and stuff on them and just decorate them a little bit but make sure you don't put any of the resin glues or you know embossing on them because then they won't soak up I don't think anyway I mean well I'm looking at this one paper maybe on the inside but definitely not on the outside it's not gonna soak it up so I'm just loving my beads I hope you enjoyed this and um, you know, there'll be some of these when I get done will be going out in happy mail because I want to share and uh, some of them are going to be going into some of my projects so check out Jenna Belly because that's where I went and uh, actually f figured out how to cut them easily and um, also she has like different ones that you can make I haven't made any of the other ones that she has like diamond shapes and ball beads and all kinds of so you want to you know really get into it how to roll them and everything look at that one I love the little ones I love that um, check out her channel I'll put her link below to where I went and then I looked at a whole bunch of others I don't remember who actually to tell you the truth she was the one that stood out because she was the one that wasn't really measuring she was using the cutter <laughs> I like things simple and she had it right on there so uh, here's the I love this one too this was with the nail polish that's cool so I love them I love them love them hope you enjoyed this and start making some paper bees this is the easiest thing to make <laughs> They're so much fun. And you can go through all your stash of paints and supplies and just use them like crazy on these and just have a ball. I mean, I'm just, I just love, I love using these liquid pearls on there. They're just so cool. You know, I have two more that I, I, I did. I decorated last night um, that I have to roll. Look at that one. That one and this one. I've got to roll them. These were with the liquid pearls, and they had to dry. Oops. And, um, gosh. You know, I'm going to use them on my feathers, too. I forgot. You know, I should have been using them all over the place. I've got so many of these things. Uh, my favorite colors are these two. These are absolutely my favorite colors. Just my favorite colors, period. You know, you talk about a teal and then a pink and uh, or mauvey whatever I love them so okay, what I wanted to show you here and now these are paper I just rolled some drop paper that I had so it's pretty heavy and I just wound this the wire around like I did when I did the um these are the beads uh, that I did with the with the fabric and with the clay underneath and you wrap the fabric and then you wrap the wire around well you can do the same thing with these um, and you don't need clay or you don't need anything you just need the paper and um, the dowel and then what I did was I took the uh, oh, when did I put that bead cap oh let me get this down um, I took a bead cap uh, where did you go where did you go here it is 
and I put it this inside this way. So instead of it being up that way, I stuck it inside that way. Oops, and I'm just waiting for this to dry and then I will do the same thing with the other one, but I wanted to thread it. Um, I'm gonna have to cut some of this. This is way too long, but I wanted to thread it and then I'll be able to um, put this one, let's see, let's get that one in and then glue that one in there and I think that's cool and then put, you know, and then put a bead on each end and whatever else you want to do, you know, to make it fancy. I'll show you, hopefully this lighting, you can see it, the color is better, so pretty. So that's it finished and um, I just think it's just so cool. I love, I love wrapping so I'll probably do that with, you know, the bigger ones. I'll make the bigger ones and I'll wrap them so this way, you know, they, and you can make them, I mean, you can make them thinner uh, so that they could be like the, these were clay and if you haven't seen my video on that, I will put that at the bottom. These are the clay beads that I wrapped with fabric and wire. So those came out really cool. But um, I love these and these are easy, you know, and I'm surely not a jeweler. But look at that. I love the metallic, how that came out too. And the, um, the just so cool. I hope you can see the colors. Yeah, I think the camera is better. I had to adjust the camera a little bit because the colors weren't coming out properly. You couldn't see. I mean, they're really very colorful. So you can see, and I love using the little, um, this was the paint in the fine liner. And uh, where is this, this one? Look how pretty with the liquid pearls. And just so cool. Just adding, you know, a little the gold in the edge and the little dots of liquid pearls or paint. Just so cool. And it just gave it a little extra. Oh, this one. This is going to be cool when it's done, too. Look at that one. The popping out. So I'm really excited about these. And I'm going to be making quite a few of them because I want to. I want to give them as gifts. I'm not going to make, I don't think I'm going to make bracelets or anything out of them and give them. I'll just give the beads. <laughs> and then, you know, someone, whoever I give them to, they can make their own things with them. Isn't that pretty? That little one. I love these little ones too. And I'm just, be, I'm just beading this one. I'm just going to start beading that one. That is cool. So I enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope I inspired you and gave you some ideas to use for yourself and and have fun and um i sure did and i thank you so much for being here guys love you all and i do appreciate you coming to visit me and if you stuck it through to the whole hour you are amazing and i love you and i'm gonna blow you a million kisses and give you lots of love and wonderful wonderful hugs and i will see you the next time okay thank you Bye bye